Hope you're having a good day today. Thanks for joining me. We are going to be looking at the account of the Dragnet, the parable of the Dragnet today. Our hymn is My Jesus, I Love Thee. My Jesus, I love thee. I know thou art mine. For thee all the follies of sin I resign. My gracious Redeemer, my Savior art Thou. If ever I love Thee, my Jesus is now. Our passage is Matthew chapter 13, verse 47. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind, which, when it was full, they drew to shore, and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels, but threw the bad away. So it will be at the end of the age. The angels will come forth, separate the wicked from among the just, and cast them into the furnace of fire. There will be wailing and gnashing of teeth. What points might we make? Well, one is this. Uh, not every kind will be accepted, and that flies in the face of modern thought. Modern, even in the religious world, ecumenical thought, where it's do whatever you want to do and you'll be fine. Bordering on universalism, pretty much is universalism. Um, but no, that's, that's not true. And that, nope, not every kind is accepted. The Lord is more discerning than that. And therefore, we need to be more discerning than that. My Jesus, I love thee. And we need to follow the Lord. They are separated into, as it says, the wicked from among the just. And so, we have to follow the Lord and follow what he has revealed, follow his commands. Another point, though, to make is, it says, which when it was full. And I was thinking about that idea of it is the Lord's time. And you have this picture of the net being full and there's, there's no more, no one hates to say there's no more room. You can carry the metaphor too far. But the question is, when will the Lord return? And I think it, um, the Lord will return in his time, the Father's time. But if there is no more good to be saved, if the world is, go is given over to wickedness, and there's, you've gotten all the good you're going to get, well then, the net is full. And it is time. He cast them into the furnace of fire, in the figure. Um, he threw the bat away. That's, that's the actual figure. Threw the bat away, that's the figure. The reality is cast them into the furnace of fire. And to just make this point, that he doesn't throw he doesn't throw the bad back into the sea. He doesn't send the back he doesn't send the bad back to back to earth after judgment. It's like no, you go off, you go into where there's wailing and gnashing of teeth. You go to eternal torment. That's where you go. And torment is just as eternal as heaven. They are both described the same way. And so, you know, when you catch a fish, when we catch a fish, and if it's not what you want, what do you do? You just, nah, you just throw it back into the, into the water and you let it do its thing. That's not how it's going to be at judgment. Nope. You throw them away, and that means onto, onto torment. So we might think about these things and we might think about following the Lord. My Jesus, I love thee. And we need to we need to be the Lord's disciples. Appreciate you. Hope you have a good day. Join us tomorrow for another portion of our daily praise.